man. We're going to do a reaction. Big Lance off the yard. His music. I've been telling this dude, if he had the right team around him, he would blow up. I'm telling you, he's really been through it. He's lived a hard life. You could hear it in his music. So uh, we're going to drop some reactions coming up to some independent artists that should be blowing up really soon. Also, we'll be doing one for Matt Towns tomorrow. Shout out to my boy. Um, he's still grinding at his music. He's going to make it too. Like I said, uh, Church even taught, said he was going to be the next up and coming country rapper a couple years ago. And he had some struggles, you know, but he's got back on track and dropping music again. So let's get into Big Lance Off The Yard's music real quick. For those who don't know who Big Lance is, he's a prison YouTuber. This guy's, you know, at one point was pretty high up in a gang, making some, uh, you know, decisions for it, for the organization, doing different things. He's now turned his life around, got away from that lifestyle, working, you know, 40 hour plus week, doing hard labor. But uh, he's doing the right thing, man, and he's grinding, chasing his dream, and you got to respect that, man. He's got a pretty good following on YouTube. If you ain't subscribed, y'all go check Big Lance out, man. He's the real deal, and I'm telling you, this guy will blow up off his music. He just needs the right team around him. Um, he just needs really a producer to help him with, with some of this stuff in the studio, really. That's it, man. Otherwise, he has the raw talent. On your ten toes in the sand, you know, ten toes down, two guns up. For those who don't know, um, if you ain't been down, you probably don't know, but if you've been down, you know. So, uh, just much respect, man. I love seeing people who turn their life around. If y'all want to know more about Big Lance, check his channel out or go back and check out the Big Lance interview on my channel. Boy, that was a bar, man. Loyalty is learned. It ain't ever given. That's a fact, boy. And, and that's one thing I, I believe Big Lance lives that he realizes he's been down with people who ain't ever coming home. And if you ever been down with people who's not coming home, you realize they, they see guys get it, go to prison, get out and then to come back within a couple of years. And, and they hate seeing that because they would if they just had one more chance to do it over again, a lot of them would never commit another crime and uh, would turn it around. So. I, I believe Lance really lives what he says with that, man. He's trying to, to live his best life, busting his butt. You know, he talks about doing 12-hour work days in this and uh, making clean money. And, you know, I believe he, he don't want to ever go back because he knows, you know, he's seen people who's not coming home. And he realizes you, you might not get another chance if you mess up again and catch another felony, especially if you already got a record and been down a few times. Boy, 
Ooh, that was a bar. Couldn't take the sound of my son's belly rumbling. And if you're a parent, you already know, man, uh, there ain't nothing you won't do to make sure your kids are fed and, and not hungry and taken care of. <laughs> I love that part. Gave up a life of, life of crime because the day people tell. And ain't that the truth, man? They ain't trying to do their own time for their own crime. They just trying to throw another man under the bus. Didn't mean to cut that short. It's pretty much just the chorus left. Um, give you a double dose of Big Lance's music. This is one he did just on a live stream. But I really like this song and the lyrics to it. I think it shows a lot of his life and, and what he's been through. And I relate a lot to his music. Like I said, I've been telling this dude he's going to blow up on this music for, for over a year now. And he's going to, man. He just needs the right team around him. You know, uh, Holler Boy Records, Adam Calhoun. Somebody sign this man. My back against that wall again. These demons have become my friends. Living all perks and bike and dance. And that's the same old stuff with just a different little shit. I'm an animal. Eating these pills like a cannibal. It's a tangible. Got a monkey on my back and a strain to attack. Every time I get ahead or I'm on the right track. What the fuck? Feel like I'm living in a bubble. Pull myself up. Boy, if you have never... Went through addiction, you might not relate, but if you've been through that addiction and know about that monkey on your back, it's, I mean, boy, man, it definitely attacks when you uh, start getting, you know, your feet on the ground and grinding the right way. And uh, that's why it's so hard for people to, to stay in recovery sometimes, man, because the first couple years is hard. Once you get a couple years under your belt, it gets a little easier, but you always got to be grinding it at staying on the right track, man. I'm rubble, but I'm still seeing double. My girl, she say I'm losing it. Got a brand new script, but I'm abusing it. Got a heart full of pain that I couldn't ever tame, and I still ain't trying to find what to do with it. Maybe what I need is a place that I can breathe and a life that I can leave, but I'm losing it. They say pray to God and he'll save me, but he can have this life that he gave me. And take back the shit that my mother did, and take back the drugs that enslaved me. And bring back the friends that I've lost in life because they the ones who made me. And get back the time that I lost inside because I Life of crime, it didn't pain me. Maybe when I Boy, I relate. I hear the verses about his mother being addicted, and I relate to that so much. Um, you know, the time he lost inside his friends. And, uh, boy, that's all about what creates you. And, and that's one thing I tell people when you first get clean, man, you got to plug into some people who's going to always be clean and, and be there to kind of be a good influence and good support in your life because. Without that, man, you're never going to stay clean. Wake up and it'll all be a dream. Maybe then I will find it so hard to believe. Maybe then everybody in my life that I hurt can move on because my body's face down in the dirt. So, so what's happening now? I know I need to kick it, but I don't know how. I know my kids need me. We about to lose the house. Don't believe a damn thing coming out of my mouth. They tired of seeing dad nod out on the couch. Burn holes in my clothes, cigarette in my mouth. The car got took up. Boy, that's another one, man. If you've been through addiction, you already know especially when it's on opiates or anything like that or benzos, you know, you're nodding off. You got, if you smoke, you get cigarette burns everywhere. Your, your sheets don't look like Swiss cheese. Your clothes got burn holes in them. And, uh, man, you know, I'm just so grateful today. I ain't living that type of life no more. And it, it's been a decade I've been away from it, but, uh, man, you know, this guy's spitting truth and stuff that, you know, if you've really been through it, you relate. Next is a cave and fucking jerk go to work, put some food on the table. Why we gotta live in a broken home? Why we broke as fuck, always left alone. Why you always high and always sick? And why you always mad acting like a dick? And why the mom leave when she could have stayed? How come nothing happens when we pray? Why we wearing no shit when we go to school? And why you at home pulling all your... Boy, and he, he really, 
you know, I believe this dude's trying to be the best father he can be and turn it around for his kids because he, he, this man really takes accountability for the times he messed up in his kid's life. Um, I've talked to him. I did an interview with him. He shares that in the interview and he shares a lot on his channel, man. I'm telling you, uh, like I said, man, uh, can't speak enough good about this man. Glad to see him chasing his dream still. If you ain't subbed, y'all go check out my boy, Big Lance. Let's get back into it. We ain't asked for this, so what's after this? And all you ever do is shoot pills and shit. You supposed to be a dad, but you just a bitch. When it happened so bad, you forgot your kids. You're so... So what's happening now? I want to be your father, but I don't know how. I want to be the man that they all know I can't be instead. I'm a deadbeat running on empty. You're gone to the hand, pull the trigger, that's plan B. I feel like my family is better or without me. I don't even think it like a single thing about me. If this is the end, motherfucker, you can count me in. Boy, uh, you know, anybody who's been a father and, and not had the best family life themselves, trying to figure out how to be a good father is not an easy road. It is possible, though. And uh, big salute to the Blue Collar Cartel, Big Lance, off the yard. You'll go check him out. This guy's grinding. Um, chasing his dreams still. I love it, man. He's got his own YouTube channel and, and I'm glad he's still just grinding at this because I, I see a lot of potential in this man. I think he's got a lot of raw talent. Like I said, he just needs the right team around him. So all you reactors that follow me, man, react to my boy, help get his music out there and let, let's get him with the right team so he can blow up, man, like he deserves. Uh, like I said, I'd love to see him, you know, if he had a team, you know, somebody like Adam Calhoun, who's got, you know, starting their own record label or Ryan sign him. I think he just needs the right guidance and he would, you know, he's going to be the next one to blow up with the right team. Y'all remember, keep grounding, keep shining, chase your dreams. That's what it's all about. That's why I'm representing this man. He's still chasing his dreams and uh, he's got a great following on YouTube too, man. So y'all check him out. Stay up, stay sober, go to work, pay your bills, y'all.